Well, hello friends, uh, Michael here from uh, M&M uh, Model Railways and uh, on the first half of the M&M. And uh, in this video, uh, we're going to be uh, checking out part two of uh, laying down that uh, plaster cloth. Let's get started right now. Well, as you can tell, I got another uh, roll of uh, the uh, plaster cloth. I did uh, quite a bit of work uh, off camera, as you can see, this uh, corner is done over here and I put some up on here. I didn't want to waste uh, my whole video doing this, but uh, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. And uh, as you can see, I've got some pieces already cut out here. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Again, your uh, rough edge goes up so you can work the uh, plaster out of it. So basically the wife is going to do the stream here. So I'm basically just uh, doing the front of this area, try to just seal up the, the foam where I have to uh, work the area. Do a little bit on camera and then the wife will come in a little bit later and uh, she will uh, finish the stream. And uh, I will be adding a uh, um, sculptor mold to uh, form a rock face on some of this stuff. I think that ought to look pretty cool. I always feel it to find my, uh, my rough area because I want that out. And as you can tell, I've already uh, put this coming up over the uh, top of the ridge here. So just enjoy some music as I work here, friends, and you can watch it uh, take place. Take shape, I guess I should have said. Take place. I'm working in about in front of where I'm going to be applying my uh, tunnel at for a switching operation. The tunnel's going to go back in here. I think that ought to look pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I can use the camera reflection to see how the work's going. It's a pretty cool idea. Start down at the bottom and overlap it as I go up to the top. That's what I'm doing here. Shred your finger over that, that plaster will come to the surface and cover up most of them holes. I'm trying to follow the contour in here because that's how I'm going to put the uh, sculpture mold on there. You can tell that I put uh, one inch uh, sections in there. It takes a uh, more uh, 
plaster cloth than what we think. Back in the olden days, this would have been done with uh, plaster Paris, uh, sticking it into uh, paper towels into a plaster Paris mix. That's how I've done my layouts in the past. And I'm also going to be adding some uh, more foam back here to make it look like it's got a three inch reveal. So that ought to be pretty cool when that's um, done and then I'll put more plaster cloth across the top of the ridge. bits at a time and before you know it, we'll have it all done. Last piece of uh, cut cloth, I'm gonna have to cut some more. I'll shut the camera off so you guys don't have to watch me do that. My original concept wasn't was to not uh, do this uh, lower part because uh like I said I'm gonna be taking this apart to uh um wrap this around my living room and into my dining room but I want to do that after I purchase all my DCC stuff and that could take a little while down the road so let's uh pause the camera and then I'll cut some more cloth. I cut what I thought was going to be enough uh, plaster cloth to finish out my uh, area over here. So let's just see if it is. use your finger to get them holes covered up best you can. As you can tell right here I have a little bit of a cave impression in it so you gotta push that stuff back inside there it's pretty cool both hands and work that stuff two different directions to get it into that canyon area there. Pretty cool, huh? That's base coat, and then I'm gonna 
will be sculpt the molding uh, sometime uh, in the next couple of weeks. Coming in and up in the next um, video, you're going to see uh, how I built my uh, bridges. I think that's going to be a pretty cool thing to see. The bridges for the train tracks to go up on. That curved bridge I did over there in this corner over here, that was that was a fun thing to do, I'm telling you what. Up oh, last uh second to the last cloth I got cut here. Trying to covered up. As you can tell, I got a little bit of a pink showing right there, so and I need a little bit more on that little canyon hole there. Let me turn the camera over so you guys can keep watching. Don't be afraid to uh, cut some little pieces. So I'm just gonna cut some little thin pieces fill into my holes that I'm trying to get covered up with this stuff. So let's go into this uh, little canyon impression here. And as you can tell, it does a pretty good job. I actually had to make that for the track to have a full turn radius back in there. shove that stuff back in there as far as you can because it's got to turn the radius here. I think we're pretty much covered up there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this uh, from the back over. sometimes gets covered up a little bit. Not covered up, but turn rolled over a little bit. Well, we don't have any more stuff cut. I think I'm going to go ahead and finish my uh, riser there off camera and my wife will come back and she'll finish this uh, stream around the back providing we have enough uh, fabric cloth if not we'll have to uh, wait until we get some more so uh, my friends I'm gonna finish off camera and uh, I'll show you a final result when we're done with